Well, I found out I was the uh, Surface Warfare nominee, I think sometime in October. I uh, was told by my current boss, uh, Vice Admiral Roden, who was uh, commander of Naval Surface Forces. And, uh, and I have to tell you, that was a, a rather surreal moment. It took a little while for it to sink in, and uh, certainly one of the first people I wanted to call was my father. As you may know, I had the unique opportunity to observe him as commandant when I was in high school. The two things that I took away from observing him in the job were one, how rewarding it was to him. And secondly, I got some sense, even with my somewhat untrained eyes at the time, of the impact he was having. Certainly throughout my life, I never felt any pressure uh, to go to the Naval Academy. I was always interested, and certainly the year and a half that I spent here uh, completely sealed the deal. When I got to Naps, obviously my father was still Commandant. And so the midshipmen who were in charge of uh, indoctrination nicknamed me Baby Daunt. And it was a nickname that I didn't want it to follow me to the academy. And I hope my classmates would say, hey, he was his own person, didn't ride any coattails, that wasn't part of the deal. Plebe year, I, I rode crew. After that, I just played intramural lacrosse. I picked up lacrosse when I was at Naps and loved the sport. I was part of the honor committee uh, all four years and was uh, my senior year, I was the uh, deputy vice honor chairman for education and that took up a lot of my time. I think everybody has great memories of their time at the academy, but I think they would say that Rob was somebody who absolutely loved all four years. When I think about the ship selection the experience I had, at that time the new ship was the Arleigh Burke class destroyers. They were brand new. And I'm proud to say I was a class of 91 and I was the 91st person to pick a ship. And I was the first one to take one of those brand new destroyers. And I was so blessed to go to that ship I spent four years on that ship with then Commander Roughhead. My second CO was also a very familiar name, a now retired Admiral Jim Stavridis. To have that kind of experience and to learn from those two kind of leaders at the beginning of my career, I saw examples of how to do it right. I won the Stockdale Award in 2011, and that was for my time in command of USS Roosevelt. But I can tell you it was the 280 folks aboard USS Roosevelt that won that award. Every crew member that I come in contact with, I have them in, write their name on the back of the award. And I'd like to get every crew member eventually to be able to put their name on the back of that award. You know, the course of my career, I couldn't necessarily control and, you know, so many other factors go into it that I, I never got fixated on it, but to be able to come back in this capacity, it was always my dream job. What I would like the midshipmen to know about me is that my experience over the last 26 years has only made my love for this institution grow. I'm going to be completely committed to preparing them to become leaders of character. And for however long I am here, I am totally committed to their success. What I would like the alumni to know about me is that in this job, I'm representing all of them. One of the greatest aspects of the last 26 years has been the interaction I've had with alumni. I have been given this distinct honor to play this important role and that my goal is to make them proud.